all give an honor to my God, to my pastor, Dr. Morton R. Peters, to my brothers and sisters in Christ. Give ear to my words. O Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shall thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and I will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak at leasing. The Lord will adore the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy. And in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulchre. They are flattered with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. They have rebelled against me. Let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because thou hast defended them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, wilt thou compass him as with a shield. I've read Psalm 5 in its entirety. May the Lord have a blessing on the readers and the doers of the holy word.
there's something that I gotta mention. Black folk, hear me when I say this. The state of our race is at risk. Yeah. Uh -huh. The slaughtering of our kinfolk, our destruction of one another, Amen. it is no mystery. You lost because you do not know your history. Yeah. Me and you was not put on the soil of this land to betray, uh -huh. slaughter and slay, downright disobey our ancestral roots. Uh -huh. Do you realize you are the fruit, the offspring of kings and queens? Yeah. Folk was hung, rope tied around their neck, whipped and beat so that you, black folk, could be free. Take the chains off your brains. Unloose that noose. It's time to call a truce. We've been bamboozled, hoodwinked, led astray, done run amok. This ain't just bad. It's raining bullets in the black community. Y'all best tame that wild beast. This unrest that pumps in my chest has left me with a broken. Black folks, stop. Yeah. Think you are becoming extinct. Right. We'll see you next Sunday. Right. Right. One more time for Sean. Amen. Let's go straight into the Holy Community, you all.
take you out for a week. I think I'm going to be off some days this week, too. I think so, too. Amen. It hit me on my right side. At some point yesterday, it moved from my right side. Now it's on my left side. But I can manage my left side better than I can manage my right side. My right side had me almost call 911. need to take a look at ourselves, Amen. realize, recognize, and rationalize that there is room for improvement in all of our lives. We have no time to point fingers at people. 
because there's room for improvement in all of our lives. Amen. Can I find two witnesses? Go ahead. Because you all, if we spend time in our garden, then we'll know that there's work to be done right. in our field. When you stay out of someone else's garden, it shows you you need to pay attention to your crops. Because you will never reach a harvest if you don't take care of what you planted. Preach Martin Peters. I, this week I scrolled up and down social media and it's a whole lot of folk on social media that want everybody to know that they've really grown and they're growing in the Lord, but they messy as hell. You mean to tell me you're growing and God is building you up but God ain't showing you that you need to tear yourself down first? So some of y'all got quiet because y'all may be a part of the messy heart. like to talk about we're growing and what we doing. My mama taught me a long time ago, you ain't got to tell a nigga what you're doing. Oh, you don't got to tell them nothing. You just do it. You just do it. Folk just, know when you, you got new hair. Folk don't know when you got new shoes. Folk know when you got a new car. Folk know when you got a new job. Because it's something about our personality, our posture, and our position that changes. You give a nigga a title, boy. You see, in the black church, people have stayed in their positions too long. In clear people churches, they only can stay in their positions for up to 10 years. Amen. But you got folks, I've been a deacon at this church for 59 years, and you still ain't tired yet. Wow. Talk about it. And I've discovered last night, God said, some people are not even worth your breath. I'm comfortable sitting down, y'all. Y'all got to come on, go with me like I'm standing up. Some people don't deserve the breath you breathe for an argument. Why don't you got to just move on without explaining yourself? Y'all, write this down, tweet it, put it on your Snapchat, your Instagram. It's impossible to tell somebody what they think they already know. Oh, oh my God. You better talk about it, Jesus. You like that, big kid? Let me try it one more time. Hopefully I can remember. It's impossible, somebody texted to me, to tell somebody what they think they already know. If people have already taken assessment of you and who you are, you will never be able to change them. Because they thought it before they knew you. This is a prime example. There are people that don't like you and can't stand you, and you've never had words with them. You never went to dinner with them. You never hung out with them. You never dated them. Based on what somebody else has said about you, they've already rationalized that's the truth about you. And that's why I don't owe nobody no explanation for who I'm friends with and who I'm in covenant with and who I ask to pray and who's in my inner circle. Yeah. Come on! Yeah. I'm sitting I'm sitting there. I'm sitting So we got to learn how to take inventory of ourselves and we'll find out. See, if you concentrate on yourself, you'll find out your shortcomings. There's people that can see something wrong with everybody but never say, you mean, you, you can't stand people, you, you, you're dysfunctional, you, you, nobody can communicate with you, nobody can get along with you, you know everything, you know where people ought to be, where they ought to stay, how they ought to dress, where they ought to live, how much money they should have, how their credit score should be, you know all that about somebody. How is your credit score? How is your relationship with you and your family? How is your relationship on your job? You. Right. And a whole lot of folk in this series won't be.
be able to participate in reset because you're too busy minding somebody else's business instead of yours. Therefore, you can't reset. You can't refocus. You will never be able to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling and you're hanging out with chickens. If you want to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus, you got to learn to hang out with hawks and eagles. Because pigeons can't fly higher than the barge station. Serving God, you keep honoring God, you keep loving God with your soul, your heart, 
condemnation of the world. Where were you when I called mountains into being? Where were you when I caused water to stream through lakes, canals, rivers, and oceans? Where were you? on my Facebook page yesterday or Friday, some, what, 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 some, some road is just between you and God. Some roads you have to walk alone. Y'all know what it is. No family, no friends, just you and Jesus. I feel about 10 people in here. You, you are at that point right now. You're on a road. You can be in a house with a full of, full of people and still feel alone. You can be in a marriage and still feel alone. You can be at work with 500 people and still feel alone. You can be sitting at church and a funeral and still feel alone because some stuff is just with you and God. to a point in your life where you're going to find out you got to do some stuff by yourself. Amen. I'm trying, kid. I'm trying, Adam. Some stuff you're going to find out you got to do by yourself. When you get broke, sometimes you broke all by yourself. Them same Negroes that you gave a ride to, them same Negroes that you loaned money to and cash out and Venmo and Zelle them. When you are in need, uh, I did, I, I, I dis, I, 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 I Disconnected my, my accounts. I, 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 I was up in the mountains. I didn't even get a signal. And then, here's one right here, y'all, and I'm probably about to quit. Then, watch this, y'all. The first thing they do is start exiting from you because they know they owe you. And then, we're so stupid sometimes, and, 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 and sometimes we can be humble and we can. What did I do? You didn't do nothing. Wow. Your agenda may have been right with them, but their agenda with you wasn't the same. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, feelings yeah. were not mutual. <laughs> wow. Oh, I've been talking to God laying in the bed all week long. Yeah. Sleep falling on them, waking up, talking to them, falling back to sleep on them. Man, you got to you got to understand. I don't care how Christian a person is, all of us still got some evil in us. My God, lean this way, children of God. Let me tell you something. When you get saved, your old nature don't leave. It's still there. Just because you don't cuss don't mean you forgot how. Just because you don't fight don't mean you forgot how. Just because you don't put a Negro in a place no more don't mean you forgot to put a Negro back in a place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm trying. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just, sometimes I get tired. I'm like, what did I do? What did I do to them today? Man, wow. amen. Right, Pastor. Right, Pastor. Yes. Right, Pastor. You're not by yourself. You're not by yourself, Pastor. Because I'll be thinking that too. What did I do? Right, right. I ain't been messing with nobody's wife. What I, what I, what I do? What I do? And that's what I've been asking God. I like, why we don't have a building yet, God? My God. I know some wicked people that have buildings with nobody in there. My God. I know the people to use the church for filthy loot and gain. Victory. We ain't got no money for me to steal or gain. Let's set the record straight now. <laughs> I ain't going to jail for nothing. Right. All right. Amen. All right. Ain't nothing to, ain't nothing to steal. All right. Y'all hear what I'm trying to tell you? Right. You go out your way for people and it ain't good enough for them. Right. Yeah. That's the truth. Wow. So, so sad. But 
Hit this right here, y'all. The problem, watch this, y'all. Watch this, watch this, watch this, kid. You're gonna like this. Dude, you're gonna like this. The problem with why some people are like that, of, 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 of the, the plethora of reasons and the plethora of situations that I've just given you, is because we go to church in Maacus, but most of the people in the church oh lack God. spiritual wow. maturity. Wow. You grow, but you're a baby in the law. You're supposed to be eating steak and potatoes and meat, but you're drinking baby. Carnation, good start with the heart. You're drinking infamil and soul bean. Similac. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. And you should be drinking homogenized vitamin D or 2% or 1%. But you won't grow, so therefore, and ain't no just so y'all get looking at me like that. I didn't say it. Paul says, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I thought as a child. I understood as a child. But when I became an adult, I put away childish things. Some of us are adults, but we ain't put the childish things away yet. grown so bad. I wanted to get out of my mom and daddy house. I wanted to come in when I want to come in. I wanted to do when I, what I wanted to do. I wanted to see who I wanted to see. I wanted to invite who I wanted to invite to my house. But when I got grown and them doggone bills start rolling in and you got to pay card notes and you got to pay insurance and don't forget about the gas and student loans and pg and &E, one day I went, my mama turned them the lights off. <laughs> Come on now. Turn them lights off. I got, I got. Turn them lights off. Close the door. You're trying to light up outside. You're trying to heat outside. <laughs> Amen, Pastor. <laughs> that boy's good. Stay ready. And some of y'all, some of y'all, oh, my battery died, y'all. Some of that, y'all like that too. See, that's, see the devil? He's so childish. He just fights like, so many times at that service. Oh, he's so childish. He's so mad because I'm talking about him. He's going to turn my mic off. Like he over there working the sound system. Right. 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 Day by day to work on you. Yeah. I take it day by day. 
by day to work on myself. Are y'all in here with me? Yeah. And we'll Amen. see how much needs to be done. Amen, Pastor. Y'all know what I've discovered? My father-in-law, James Bowie, mm -hmm. taught me this. Read that and taught me this. Um, he's a geekster. And if you pay that, if you listen, he's a geekster. He taught me that when electronics, uh, when electronics stop working, uh -huh. if there's a warranty on them, mm -hmm. when you send them back to the manufacturer, mm -hmm. they have to refix everything yeah, in there yeah. in order to send it back to you. Uh -huh. In other words, y'all, when the manufacturer get finished with it, it's just as brand new as it was the day you bought it. When are we gonna start giving our lives and our bodies back to the manufacturer? So he can fix us anew, so he can fix us right, so he can fix our heart and fix our hands and fix our walk with him. Yeah. Your merchandise, your electronic is better after it's been fixed. If your car needs a new engine, it's gonna be stronger than your old engine. Why? Because nothing in there is worn out. Everything in there is new. Right. Right. Amen. If any man or woman be in Christ Jesus, oh, he, is man. And he or she, he it is, is a new creature. creature. Yeah. Yeah. All things have passed away, yeah. not disappeared, yeah. just passed away. Yeah. And behold, all things have become, become new. Help yeah. oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Somebody close that door, being close that door. Instead of asking God, what happened, God? Hmm. Why don't you ask God, hey, God, was I in my right, right. position? There we go. Yeah. There we go. Right. Yeah. yeah. There we go. God, was I where you wanted me to be? Yes. Preach, yes. Pastor. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Absolutely. Quit being so upset with God because things ain't gone the way you want them to go. Are you doing what God wants you to do? Amen. God bless those that follow leadership. Yes. Yes. If you ever want to know a good leader, he or she was a good follower. But they came a leader. Again, it's impossible to tell somebody what they think they already know. Or in their mind, what they already know. Right. That's, That's dangerous grounds to stand on yeah. that nobody can tell you anything. Yeah. Dangerous grounds. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Somebody can somebody can tell all of us something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Prime example: If you walked out of your house and your back was turned, and a crackhead or drunk was walking down the street, and said, "Your house on fire." You mean tell me you're not gonna look back? It can be a lie, but at least you may be like, man, please, and get to your car, you'd be like, <laughs> or you get to where he ain't in, he or she ain't in your space, you're going to look back. Because something in your head and say, what if it's really on fire and I ain't paying attention, I ain't took heed. Pride comes before destruction. Yes, yeah, it does. Amen. 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 And a haughty spirit. Mm. Father, thank you for your word today. Thank you, Lord. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for challenging us. Yes, Lord. Now, Father, your will is that you correct us. Yes, yes, God. Please help me. Correct our faith. Yes, correct our wrong way, yes. our wrong doing, mm -hmm. our wrong rationale. Yes. And help us, oh God. Oh, yes. God, life is a mystery. Life is a mess. Hmm. But God, you you bless us. And you turn our mess and our misery into a ministry. Life is messy. Cooking gets messy. Bacon gets sticky. Yeah.
juice and punch if you pour it gets sticky yeah. but God unstick us unglue us to follow you would you help our church to be a maturing church? And then God help us to be a matured church. Help us to do things your way, not Marty's way, not nobody else's way. God, I step back. Would you please lead victory? You know our hearts desire a building, parking, Something that we can afford. God, we have good church. We have good singing, good, great musicians. Preaching is pretty good, God, but would you help us with our own? Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child. God is on. We'll reverence it. We'll worship hard. We'll witness. We won't be a messy church, but we'll be a church that the Messiah wants, a working, a witnessing, and a worshiping church. That's our desire. That's our goal. God, as we please you, would you bless our lives? Bless our children's lives. Bless all of our lives, our grandchildren's lives. Bless our parents and grandparents. Bless our brothers and sisters. Bless nieces and nephews. Bless the total man. Bless mankind. Help us to not stray from you, but walk straight to you. Help us to not be uncovered, but God, cover us with your grace, your wisdom, your mercy, your understanding, and your forgiveness. It's in the name of Jesus Christ, our crucified, risen Savior's name we pray. Amen. All right. Listen, if you're here, you need to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says faith coming by hearing, hearing by the word of God. You've heard faith preached to you today. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 and verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That is my prayer. If you call 510-575-9092, I promise you that I'll return your phone call. I promise you. I'll pray with you all for salvation. If you would like to become a virtual member of our church, hit me up. I promise you I'll get back to you within 24 hours. The Lord bless thee, the Lord keep thee. And for those of you in social media land, it's time to worship the Lord with our giving. And to those of us that are inside of the building, this is the first Sunday. We try to pay all our bills on the first Sunday. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in God's house. Amen. God bless you all. y'all today's the first Sunday let me share with you all okay, we, yeah. Oh, yeah that tithing is 10% of your income 10% I don't care if you do it off your net or your gross just do it Hey everybody, we thank you for joining in into the Victory Baptist Church worship today. We pray that you were blessed and we pray that the Lord met your need in today's worship. Our prayer is that you will come back next Sunday at 12 p.m. and join us again for another wonderful, incredible service. Be blessed and thank you for watching.